This is episode 2149 of the Daily Meditation Podcast. Welcome back to day five of our series. If you are new and you're just joining us, no worries, you are in the right place. Each week we explore a theme and we connect the theme each week with meditation techniques, a new one each day. So you can join in any meditation series at any point. You'll always learn a technique and you'll always learn some insight. You'll also always learn a little from your fellow meditators who listen and meditate along with the podcast just like you do. I want to thank those of you who have reached out to me with your journeys to let me know how meditation has benefited you. And if you'd like to share how meditation is helping you in your life, please reach out to me on Sip and Om Facebook or Instagram, or you can send a message to me at mary at sipandom.com. Today's episode is sponsored by my very own Sip and Om meditation app. You can try this app for seven days, free access to over 2,000 guided meditations. You also receive a journal and a slow down guide. So you get 30 minute meditations on the app. So this is for you if you're ready to go a little more deeply into your meditation ritual. Well, let's get back to you sitting here, getting ready to meditate. The theme this week is you seeing positivity in the world, in the world globally, in the world around you, your community, and those you spend time with and finding positivity in yourself. And that can be the hardest part of all. So I want you to really focus this week on how you can begin to see yourself in a better light. In today's episode, you are going to be guided as you do a meditation to help you open up to life's flow. If you are not new to chakras, let me warn you, we're going to go a little into the chakras today in the meditation. Chakras are simply energy centers within your body that are considered to harbor emotions and different life events. Those memories stay with you. And so the ancient yogis considered that these memories and emotions have to do with a system called chakras. Your second chakra is right at your reproductive area. This is about one and a half to two inches above your tailbone. The color is orange, the vibrant color of creation, and the element is orange water, which is the focus of the meditation today. So as you settle yourself down to calm your mind and your body, I'd like to introduce you to your fellow meditator, Beatrice Mari. She is a health and wellness coach. And I met her on Instagram. She just had a baby and she shares her ups and her downs and gives so much inspiration as she raises two little ones. Beatrice says, I'm so grateful that I found your podcast, especially with me being a beginner. I have learned so much about how meditating can help me in so many ways in my life and understand a lot of my own triggers to my past experiences with anxiety and depression. I 
always saw myself as a person who never handled it well, but never overcame it, and I truly feel like I am overcoming it through your weekly challenges of learning our inner truth and self. I began meditating when I was eight months pregnant, and I was able to get through the labor pains with the counting breathing techniques you had in your earlier episodes. The way you do your podcast is very impactful and powerful, even in 10 minutes. Thank you, Beatrice. And as you settle yourself down to get ready to meditate, you're about to embark on a journey within, visualizing yourself floating down a river. Feel the weight of the water supporting you. Feel the river meandering, taking you on a journey, moving you forward. The current of the river pulls you along and bring to mind some cares and worries. Something on your mind these days, maybe it's something that causes you to be a little fearful. And as the scenes pass by you, as you flow along with the river's current, notice how the river guides you, maneuvering you around fallen logs across the river and boulders in its path. Consider the worries and cares slipping away as the different scenes along the river change. You could visualize the color orange, the vibrant color of orange. This is the color of your second chakra. Visualize it surrounding you as you flow along the river. Begin to see scenes along the river that represent parts of your life for which you're grateful. Inwardly smile as you consider something positive about the world. Smile as you reflect on something positive about someone in your life. And again, smile as you reflect on something positive about yourself. I'll share with you the quote by Victor E. Frankel, an Austrian neurologist and psychiatrist and a Holocaust survivor. 
He wrote the groundbreaking book, Man's Search for Meaning. He says, everything can be taken from a man but one thing, the last of the human freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. Choose your way as you meander along the river of your life. You are so worth slowing down for.